Good morning, Sixth Grade. Happy Wednesday. Uh, on Monday, we were talking Jesus doing his first miracle of changing water into wine, and we were learning three important truths. One, he's the Son of God. Two, he has power over nature. He can turn water into wine. And three, he goes about answering our prayers. Uh, today, we're going to kind of go along with the same theme. Jesus is going to do a miracle. It's going to prove he is the Son of God. And today we're focusing that it shows that he has power over disease as Jesus goes and he heals an official's son today. Let's get started on it. The first question is, why did a royal official come to Jesus and beg? And we're in John chapter 4, reading verses 43 to 47. After the two days, he left for Galilee. Now Jesus himself had pointed out that a prophet has no honor in his own country. When he arrived in Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him. They had seen all that he had done in Jerusalem at the Passover festival, for they also had been there. Once more he visited Canaan and Galilee, where he had turned water into wine. And there was a certain royal official whose son lay sick at Capernaum. When this man heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and begged him to come and heal his son, who was close to death. Okay, back up here, guys. So, on Monday, he's in Canaan and Galilee. Now he is starting out, he's down in Jerusalem, guys, for the Passover festival. So, I don't want you to think that the story we had on Monday happened one day, and the next day, boom, this story happens. A decent amount of time has passed. He had to finish the wedding feast. He then traveled down to Jerusalem. It's probably a day, two, three-day journey, depending on how fast you're walking and if you're stopping anywhere. Do the Passover festival, then travel back home. Okay, so all that stuff is happening. While he's in Jerusalem, he points out this thing. Hey, I'm usually rejected in my own country. Always a true statement. You're going to see later on this year how true it is when Nazareth completely rejects him. He eventually comes back up to Galilee and heads to Cana. I don't know if that's visiting friends or family from this wedding or just goes there. But while he's there, a uh, royal official says, I got a problem and I want Jesus to fix it. So he travels from Capernaum to Cana to fix his problem. So what did he come to do and beg? He begged for his dying son's life. This is close to death, guys. And in biblical times, it's not like you ever hoped for a recovery. If he wasn't getting better by himself, it was because the disease was killing him. And we didn't have that much medicine back in the day to do a whole lot. We'll see how the interaction goes. How did the official continue to show faith in Jesus? So we got 48 to 50. Unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. The royal official said, Sir, come down before my child dies. Go, Jesus replied, your son will live. Okay, now guys, we, we look at this interaction. We, if you're like me, you read this first line, you're like, whoa, Jesus. I mean, the guy's got a problem. He's coming to you and he's asking for some help. And you got to see Jesus always understanding the bigger picture. He didn't really say, Hey, sir, unless you see wonders, he says, unless you people. Now, guys, we're actually going back up to here. And he says, I know that when I get to my home territory of Galilee, they're not going to give me the honor I deserve. So I'm going to take the opportunity now when there's a crowd around to say, you guys might have the wrong belief system. You only believe if you see these signs and wonders. In other words, I have to prove that I'm the son of God. It's kind of what Satan said to him. If you're really the son of God, it's what people are saying to him. Hey, if you're really God, then let's do some things. Now, the royal official keeps at it. And I like that, guys, right? And now Jesus challenges him. He says, well, if you're offended by this statement that you have to see signs and wonders to believe, let me challenge you. What does he say? He says, go. Your son will live. He didn't say, bring your son here and I'll heal him. He didn't say, I'll come with you and lay my hands on him and heal him. He said, let's see if you really do believe without seeing. So what is Jesus doing? He's testing his faith. Faith is believing without seeing, guys. So he says, go, your son's going to live. And this guy has to make a decision. Am I going to listen to Jesus and go, or am I going to make him come with me? What does it say? The man took Jesus at his word and departed. So the man demonstrated that he had faith. He wasn't in this group. 
Now, guys, we have to be able to take statements like this and say, wow, Jesus, you're mean. You're offending people. No, 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 no. The only time I'm offended is if it's true. And if it's true about me, then I deserve to be offended. And so often, guys, that offense is my conscience saying, you need to change something. So lots of times as a teacher, I'll say, oh, you got to put in more effort if you want to be successful. And then kids will tisk me. Well, which kids tisk me? Only the one that that's true for. If, if you agree with me, you're like, mm-hmm, preach it, Mr. Brower. I know that truth already. That's why I work hard. That, that doesn't offend you because it doesn't apply to you. But when I know it applies to me, I'm offended because I, what am I really doing? I'm getting my laziness pointed out, and that makes me feel bad about that. So it's a great reminder for us. The question was, how did the official continue to show faith in Jesus? He believed that Jesus would heal his son, and he departed to head back to him. Now notice what Jesus says. He says, go, your son is going to live. Let's see how it happens. What happened back at the official's house? 51. While he was still on the way, his servants met him with the news that his boy was living. When he inquired at the time when his son got better, they said to him, yesterday at one in the afternoon, the fever left him. Then the father realized that this was the exact time at which Jesus had said to him, your son will live. So he and his whole household believed. This was the second sign Jesus performed after coming from Judea to Galilee. Okay, let's go through this. Now, guys, I think the story of his faith is even a step more awesome because it wasn't like, hey, go home, and the guy had to walk a block. He is literally a, more than a day into his travels. So you kind of get the impression, hey, I got this problem. I got to go see Jesus. It means I need to ask off of work all week, and I'm a royal official, and he travels for days probably to find him, and then he has to travel home. Can you imagine the walk home? I left yesterday, I'm walking home, and I got the word from Jesus, my son is going to live. But in the back of my head, what's Satan saying? Ooh, you made the wrong decision. I can't believe you left Jesus. I can't believe you didn't make him come with you. What are you going to do if your son gets worse? How are you going to explain to your wife that you didn't drag Jesus back with you? Are you sure you made the right decision? And all of a sudden, boom, you see the servants. And I wonder all the thoughts that flew through his head when you see the servants, like, those are my servants. Do they have a smile on their face? Do they not? Is he bringing good news? Is he bringing bad news? Well, maybe he saw the smile on his face to say, man, we got great news. Your boy is fine. And then they say, hey, when did it happen? As soon as Jesus said the word. So Jesus said, go, your son will live. And then instantly he took care of the problem. Now let's go back and understand the bigger picture again. Great. The son is healed. That's a very narrow problem, guys. That's a physical problem. He's better. Good. What did Jesus do? Man, that's awesome. So he, the royal official, and his whole household believed. In other words, man, this Jesus guy is awesome. He takes care of our problems, and we need to believe that he is the Son of God. They don't believe that he's a miracle worker, guys. They already know that. Now they believe in something true. Okay, it ends with this statement. This was the second sign Jesus performed after coming back from Judea to Galilee. This is not Jesus' second miracle total, guys. We were told in the Bible that water to wine was his first miracle. We were also told that he obviously did miracles in Judea, um, and the people want to see it. This was just the second one when he got back into Galilee, so it might have been his 50th overall. But Jesus is showing his power. Uh, what, what happened? Jesus healed the boy, and the officials, whole household believed to Jesus to be the Son of God. Big, huge picture. I love it going. You see a picture here of two servants that were running, the royal official coming along and uh, sharing the good news, and then just the bigger picture of, man, it happened yesterday as we got there. Okay, so we had a goal question today, guys. The aim was, how did Jesus show his power over disease? The truth is this. Jesus showed his power over disease by healing a royal official's dying son. Okay, now what I want to stress, guys, as you're thinking about the truth is, this is taking care of a physical problem. But for us, he might take care of our physical problem of disease too. But more important than physical, guys, he takes away our spiritual disease. I have the disease of sin in me, and there's nothing I can do with it. It's going to kill me for an eternity in hell. And Jesus showed his power over that disease too. He took away my sin. He forgave it with his death on the cross. And so you might want to think about Jesus taking care of our physical and our spiritual problems uh, in general. You might also want to think about that specifically. 
that Jesus takes care of our physical and spiritual diseases when you get to your worksheet today because that might help you be able to get that done quickly. Let's close with prayer. Lord, we come to you today. We thank you for once again demonstrating your power. This time you de demonstrated over disease, but you also give us a great example of what faith looks like. You give it to us in a royal official who came with a problem, asked for help, and you simply told him to go. And he showed us awesome faith by just going, even though it was going to be a couple day journey back to see if his faith was rewarded. And it certainly was. As soon as you spoke the words, you healed that royal official's son from a distance, showing your awesome power. Lord, it's a super cool miracle, but better than that is you taking care of our spiritual disease, giving us the forgiveness of sins. Help us to realize that no matter what happens to us physically, we are always right with you spiritually. We praise you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Six, you have a true-false worksheet that spells some fantastic words on the bottom. Um, so just make sure if it's not English words on the bottom, you did something wrong. So check it over carefully to make sure you spell the correct words. Blessings on it.